Hello everybody and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation. Today we're doing a menstrual cup tag number eight, uh, styles basically. Uh, question number one is which menstrual cup is your favourite on your heaviest day? And it's this one here. Um, it is the Yuki cup which is this one. For those of you who don't know what they look like, they all look different. Um, because they're all different pores, this is pores. Um, this is the one that I have. I do wish there's a bit more of this green in there. I do like this green. Um, the bag is by Kitty Cat Cloth, who appears to no longer be uh, making any cloth pads or cups. Um, this is an awesome, uh, all over awesome cup and I cannot rave about it enough. Um, of course the links will be below, however the design um, and capacity of this cup works perfectly for me on my heaviest day. Um, which menstrual cup is the your favourite for lighter days? I think this is the one, yep this is the one, is the ruby cup. Um, and the, um, so this one. Um, it is a, um, now it is preferable that you use the appropriately sized cup for your flow, much like, um, there are differing tampon and disposable pads for flow, like heavy, super, medium, light, um, you should be using, um, the right size cup for your flow as well, um, uh, so this is why there is not necessarily a Goldilocks cup, but this cup here is, um, my favourite for my lighter days. Um, my favourite cup for my medium days is the Lally cup, but unfortunately I don't have that with me. Um, it's probably, it's at my other place. Did I have a couch surfing at? Um, what is your favourite shape? Most of my cups are a bell shape, um, but I do have two ergonomic cups, um, which is this fun cup, um, which is this shape. And um, this Acalia cup, um, which is this shape. So they're both a similar type of shape. Um, this fun cup is a German cup and this Acalia cup is an Australian cup. Um, so I'll post the reviews I did on these cups. Um, but this fun cup is actually really, really great. Um, Although probably the biggest criticism I have of this cup is um, that this rim is actually quite soft. Um, so the rim is actually quite soft on this one. Um, there were a lot of criticisms of it, uh, the Acalia cup, but I will link the um, review so you guys um, can see that for yourself. And I won't take up all that time here. Um, question number four flow is what type of flow do you have and how long is your period um, it is a five day period with heavy days on number two and number three day um, number five is how comfortable is wearing a menstrual cup um, when you get the right one or ones um, perfectly comfortable so um, you I don't even feel um, these cups even if they're significantly um, different shapes and sizes and um, yeah, so they're pretty good. Uh, question number six is how easy, how easy is putting in and removal of the cup? Um, it takes a bit of getting used to um, and a bit of practice um, and the right cup. So it kind of takes a little bit of a trifecta of things to get all of these things running in a row. Um, but when that happens, um, it, could, it can take a good three to four months to get it right. Um, I know some people get it right on the first go and just sail through, but you have to remember that you, some people have a smaller flow, so some people only have a two or three day cycle, and if that's happening every 25 to 30 days, you know, you're not getting necessarily a lot of practice in, so don't panic if it takes you a while longer to get used to the cup. Uh, question number seven is how um, many do you have? Um, so um, the Yuki cup, the Ruby cup, which you've seen. So Yuki cup, this is the Moxie cup. Um, this, of course, as I said, is the fun cup. 
Um, we've got the Acalia cup, which I can um, shove back into the bag actually. Um, we've got two Ruby cups, which is over there somewhere, and this one is a Hello cup. Um, so this is how the Hello cups look. The Hello cups are very, very cute. I am a big fan of the Hello cups, um, and it's made from TPE. I think it's one of the only ones that I have made from TPE. Everything else is medical grade silicon. Intamina, Tom's, um, and this is a Juju cup, and I also have a Lally cup that's not actually here. Um, so I think a lot that's 11. Um, so that's a completely unnecessarily high number to be honest. Um, while having two or three is a great idea to follow sterilization guidelines, you definitely do not need 11. Um, basically the sterilization guidelines are that you should be boiling your cup or sterilizing it um, for the adequate amount of time, whether you boil it on the stove for five minutes or you put it in a uh, steamer in the microwave um, or you sterilize it in a Milton's uh, sterilizing tab um, whichever route you take to sterilize it you should do that every time you remove the cup and put it back in um, that's why it is it can be useful to have two cups so that you can always be putting a sterilized cup back inside of you um, last question number eight is what are the financials or price like they are very 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 cheap so cheap that you will save thousands and thousands of dollars um, and so it is definitely a recommended um, idea to get yourself at least one menstrual cup um, to uh, save yourself a significant amount of money. Thanks for watching. Uh, links to all of these cups will be down below so you can check them out. Um, I'll also uh, probably at the end of this video link it to the menstrual cup review um, that I've done on nearly all of these cups but Tom and Moxie. Um, out of that, thank you for watching. Um, enjoy your morning, afternoon or evening depending on where you are in the day and I will catch up with you all in the next video. Bye everyone.